Welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm back on the show floor here at Snowflake Summit where I'm delighted to be joined by Jatanya Gadem, Managing Director at Accenture. Such a pleasure to be back with Accenture here at Snowflake Summit. Thank you for inviting us. This has been an amazing experience so far. I was just talking about so many people. Day number two, and I met like most of my clients. It is truly, truly amazing. So thank you for making this happen for us. Great to hear the AI data cloud ecosystem is all around us and it's always a pleasure to be with Accenture. Thank you so much for joining. At Accenture, you're committed to creating positive change around the world and ensuring we act as responsible business leaders. What's the data showing you? I'm so glad you asked the question because it really fits in the DNA of Accenture. So that I'll tell you about three things, right? You know, our core DNA. The first thing is all about the people. The second thing is culture and diversity. The third thing is giving back to the community. So I'll, I'll touch on a little bit on all of those. We don't do anything without the people aspect of it. And I even say that to my team members. We win and we lose together, right? So we I don't ever- The collective we. Absolutely. We don't ever let a lone ranger sitting all by themselves. We jump in. And if I say like, you know, somebody is sick and, you know, ask for the help, there'll be like 50 people raising their hands and can I help? That's the culture that we embark on and our CEO embarks on that culture as well. The second thing is culture and diversity. In our groups and in, in Accenture, we celebrate every culture. Even though I manage a Northeast practice, we celebrate every culture across the globe because we have people across the globe working in the market unit. And diversity is an extremely important element. You know, we embarked on this journey very in an accelerated way four or five years back. There is so much work there is to be done at the ground up level, but diversity is the second angle to it. Now, the third angle is giving back to the community, and this is what I really like about, is you know, we actually give it back. We have something called as ERGs, it's called as Employee Resource Groups. What we do is, at Christmas, you know, I, I'm usually there and then doing a food drive you know, for the homeless people. You know, doing, you know, sleeping outside on the streets to kind of experience what they do. And then all the donations we get, they give it back to the communities. So we do so much of giving back to the community. So the three things that I talked about, people, culture, and diversity, and giving back to the community. As a responsible business user, I bring the same value back to my clients. Is where I actually see us as a responsible business user. Very much feels like the trifecta all working together. 100% yes. So John, in today's hyper-competitive world, companies must reinvent all part of the enterprise with data. How is the AI data cloud helping if you think about you know, data cloud and AI cloud and everything that Snowflake offers, there are many aspects of why it differentiates in the market. I'll give you an example of a life sciences, largest life sciences client that we are working on. And they have like patient services, R&D, commercial, you know, manufacturing, across, right? And everybody's doing the siloed implementation for like 15, 20 years, not just on the data. Data, AI, ML solutions. Now, when you ask them about saying, hey, I, want, I have a new use case, I want to process this, I have a new drug in pharmacovigilance, I want to understand how I can bring this back to the market by working across the line of businesses, that is a huge challenge right now for like sciences. Snowflake completely changes that by taking all those siloed environments to a centralized view so that you can actually benefit from what I'm doing in facial services with what you are doing in R&D. And then the second thing, which is the most important thing, and I want to really stress on that, is security aspect of it, which governance, security, privacy, all kind of right. you know, works together. So it gives you a measure where you don't have to kind of go around and shop for solutions like you know, tokenization, encryption, masking. I want to actually work on a use case where I'm actually saying, change the data, mask the data so I can do this. By the way, I have to go to a new subscription to do a masking of the data. Seems inefficient. No. It's in Snowflake right now in the data cloud. So underpinned with the security, bringing all the siloed solutions together, business are embarking where they can actually natively take the sharing capabilities across. So you don't have to kind of go around. Is is one of the biggest change that I've seen and biggest benefit of um, bringing all the solutions together. Democratize data, democratize AI, AI cloud is doing that. Yeah. I love that. As you mentioned, the AI buzz is all around us here at Summit. What excites you most about the future of data collaboration and how are organizations simplifying their data foundation to enable AI and Gen AI success? You're asking all the great questions here and I'm loving this. So think about the traditional supply chain of how you actually build the data foundations. 
you identify the data sources, then you actually massage the data and create data warehouses, then you do data lakes or combination of that, then you run reports, then you bring in AI ML. That is a traditional supply chain. What you're saying is, business, please wait, let me go through these five hops before I can give you the information. That has completely changed with the advent of Gen AI. Now you can go to the source with the Gen AI. I don't have to process all the ETL stuff. I don't have to process all the data science and ML routines to get to the information that I'm looking for. It might be needed for some of the use cases, but not every time. So that circular pathways of working, moving away from traditional supply chain, I've seen a big change in adopting to the data foundation. And the other thing I would say is, don't think about building the massive data foundation solutions before you can embark on AI or Gen AI. It has to be a dual velocity approach. So start thinking about the framework operating model, bringing things together, maybe a product mindset, maybe a market data marketplace mindset, what you look like offers. Then start building the Gen AI solutions. So it's a dual velocity approach. So you can get to the value for the business much faster than Chandrana, thank you so much for your time, your insights. What's next for Accenture? I'm so glad you asked the question. By the way, if you ask this question with Gen AI, what's next for Accenture, it might give you a response, but let me try to be honest with you, what's next for Accenture? Sounds great. It's about the people, right? So we are embarking on this journey on Gen AI. You know, so upskilling everyone, not just being a conversant in Gen AI, being an expert in Gen AI is one of the, the big objective and a goal that we have for the practice. The second, that's the people aspect of it. The second thing is, you know, we have acquired a lot of acquisitions and companies and clients as well. And that's where we want to bring in the ac recent acquisitions into our core solutions and help the clients be very much relevant in the market and the value that they're looking for. The third thing is, the pie is so big, we want to run. Right, so we want to see how we can run with Snowflake and help more clients. So that's the three things that I'm what, what I'm looking for. What's next for Accenture? I love it. I'm looking forward to seeing it play out. Shatanya, such a pleasure having you on Data Cloud now. Always great talking to Accenture. Thank you again. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.